working on the off season with Cole, mm. and you know Cole's Cole's real regimented. He got like his hoop dream, so he wake up and he's hooping for a couple hours. Then he's like doing his personal thing, and then he's like got the studio for a certain block. So you know every day we're working within those hours, and I think we had been working on like let go of my hand on one of them records, and you know obviously everything on the Cole album has a real like kind of deep vibe and mm -hmm. it's you know what I mean? So we stopped and we're like, we got like 30 minutes left. He's like, yo, let's just do something fun. Like, let's just do something different. Hell so he's yeah. like, yo, T minus sent me this pack. Let's go through these beats. Fire. First beat he played, that melody for the Jackie Ooh. came on. We just looked at each other like, you know what? Don't even play no more. Like, just run it. Run it up. Yeah. Shout out to T minus, man. Hella inspiring. That's what's up, man. Damn, that's crazy, yeah. man. And, and, then, and so, so, like, so then the process goes, you know, he, he comes up with the hook and. and yes. Yeah, so you know what? That whole week, he was, um, even the even the songs I did for the off season, he was like challenging me to like not write nothing, okay. which is different from my process. But that's one reason I like working with Cole. Is, is that like, is that how he records? No, no writing. Nah, or? I'm I'm I don't think so. I'm thinking it's a mix. Okay. Obviously, you know what I mean. But um, he's always trying to push me out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. from that regard. Like when we're in the studio, so he, you know, I'm the type I might want to write write it down, walk around, sing the melody to myself. All right, I got it. Let me record it. And he was like, Yo, let's just cut on the mic. Do what you feel, and like we'll we'll refine the words. You know what I mean? We'll fine tune it. Um, so yeah, that's how we did the Jackie in like thirty minutes. It was like Sheesh. a very very great interview with Boz. Uh, just it was really good and it was really insightful. Uh, hello, my name is Richard Bronson. Uh, I teach homegrown success, and welcome to the channel. Please, if you do not drop that like button, I will drop kick you. Oh, no, I'm just I'm joking with you. I won't drop kick you, but you can also follow me. Uh, on Instagram as well, or click the like button. Either one of these things would be guaranteed to make me happy. We're gonna talk a little bit today about Boz. Now, if you don't know who Boz is, okay? Boz is an American rapper who is with J. Cole in the uh, label called Dreamville, okay? They work alongside each other. They've been in previous projects with each other. I think uh, I think J. Cole's with, with Boz for Night Job um, and uh, Let Go of My Hand, which was J. Cole's new uh, single released album called The Off Season, uh, Boz was a part of that as well. Uh, now, if you don't know what the song's called, the song's called The Jackie, okay? Now, what is The Jackie? Now, apparently, I I didn't like a lot about The Jackie, you know, it wasn't that good of a song to me, but apparently after watching this whole entire uh, interview and him saying that it only took 30 minutes to make, I can confirm why it's so bad. They made that song together in a studio that only took them 30 minutes, okay? And J. Cole, in the interview, if you, if you look at, that, at the interview, specifically says, I also have a link to it in uh, the description below, it specifically talks about uh, him getting pushed out of his comfort zone with J. Cole, okay? He usually is a writer. He likes to write a lot. But this time, what happened was J. Cole said, hey, freestyle, okay? And we'll think about it later on, okay? This is very, 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 very important for you to know about this in your personal growth, in your career, in anything in the world, all right? Just in general, for you as a person to understand. You have to outgrow your boundaries. Let me ask you something. Have you ever felt scared of the unknown? Ever felt uncomfortable leaving your bubble? You don't understand why some people socially are better than you. I don't understand what's going on. I feel like I could do that. A lot of it's because you're in your bubble. You need to get outside your comfort zone. And it is difficult and hard to master at first, but with more practice, you become a master at it. Remember, learning isn't possible without pushing yourself past your comfort zone. See, let me tell you this, okay? There's a lot of things going on in the world today, all right? That girl that you want, okay? That position that you want in your job, okay? this project that you're working on 24 7 7 days a week but you can't seem to get it through why can't you get it through i don't understand i don't understand all right i don't understand why i can't get it through it doesn't make any sense to me okay a lot of the reason is because you live in your bubble okay you have to understand that you have to get outside your bubble you have to leave your comfort zone it's the only way anything can be possibly done at, at the end of the day it's the only way the reason why it's the only way is because we learn more when we get outside of our bubble. You know, uh, that song took 30 minutes to make, but let me be honest with you, I haven't made a 30 minute song. I, I didn't take, I haven't made a song that took me 30 minutes to make just off of freestyling. That hasn't happened at all to me at all whatsoever. And even if the song is bad to me, it is good. It is produced very well. Like it's not a bad song. It's not awful. It's produced well. And there's some bars on it that's pretty cool. 
But, you know, he didn't do that by just writing. He got outside and just freestyle, which is pretty impressive. In life, we want a lot of people to tell us, this is what we need to do. This is how it has to get done. Because we fear, we're, we're fearing people. If you don't know, historically, prehistorically, if you don't know this, your body fears the unknown. It, it, it dreads the unknown, you know? Why do you think space is so scary? You know, there's a statistic that shows that more people are afraid of literally giving a public speech than death. Why is that? It's because they're afraid of getting outside the comfort zone. It's the unknown. How will these people react? I don't know. I don't know any of these people. But the thing about it, you have to also understand is you have to trust the process. It's a learning experience, not only for the person, but for you as well. You can't become the best seller, the best baseball person or, or, or basketball person or anything in the world if you don't get outside your comfort zone. That means, yes, getting up and getting outside and talking to women. That means, yes, getting up, going outside and talking to clients and customers. That means, yes, performing that speech, performing that song in front of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 people. You have to, because that's how growth is made. So it's up to you as a person, as an, as an individual, first and foremost, to be the best. Why settle to be the rest when you could be the best?